Uh, hi, everyone. It's great to see all of you from all around the world. Uh, so my name is Sriram Shankaran Arayanan. Uh, I am a professor in the computer science department, and I teach a variety of courses, uh, mostly around algorithms and theory of computation. So for, the, for this uh, degree program, uh, we have designed a data structures and algorithms class, which uh, is really meant to bring you up to speed uh, with what a person who has a bachelor's degree in computer science uh, would know right at the end of their degree program. And because this is a master's level class, we have added some more topics, which typically wouldn't be covered in a bachelor's level class. So, so it's, a, it's a lot of material we cover in three courses, each of which is four weeks each. Um, and it covers the fundamentals of data structures and algorithms, which are pretty much everything you need to know how to be a computer scientist. Uh, now, we don't cover programming in this class, so we assume that you know programming in a language. Python is the language we use in this class, so it's, it's ideal to take a Python programming tutorial or a course uh, before you start this class. Uh, and uh, it's going to cover algorithms and data structures. And the main idea is if you think of programming as, as you know, writing a program as laying bricks, uh, this course will teach you how to put those bricks together into interesting pieces that can that can do things like build a, a building, like a, a, a great building, right? Uh, and so um, we teach you all of that and we talk about algorithms. The course is divided into three parts. Part is uh, algorithms for searching, sorting, and indexing. So we, we teach you things like how to do sorting and how to do searching. And, and the basics of algorithms. And it's, it's, a, it's a simpler way to start the material. Uh, and you learn things about hash tables, which are extremely important. Uh, and if you, are, if you are a newbie to Python programming, uh, this course will also get you uh, started on that a little bit because the, the programming assignments will be simpler. They will not really stress your knowledge of Python. Uh, and then moving forward, we have the second course on trees and graphs, uh, which are very, very important because trees and graphs are how we talk about relational data, like data that's maintained by companies like Google or Facebook would be in the form of trees and graphs. So we'll talk about algorithms on trees and algorithms on graphs and, and how, to, how to implement these algorithms as well. Uh, and the last bit uh, is the third course, which is going to be on dynamic programming, uh, greedy algorithms and, and what we call intractability. So this is more about algorithm design. So suppose you are encountering a new problem which doesn't quite fit into any of the problems you've seen in your algorithms or data structures textbooks. How do you go about designing and thinking about strategies for, for solving this problem? And that's, the part, that's going to be the third class. And um, these classes have uh, video lectures. So, so every, every week or every module has a bunch of video lectures, uh, which is me talking and uh, interspersed with a few questions to the students. So you can answer those. And then there are quizzes, which are uh, simple, like have you understood the material kind of quizzes? Uh, we also provide some material in terms of uh, Jupyter notebooks, which you can use to uh, look at some implementations of the techniques and, and understand them deeper. Uh, we also use a, a, a standard textbook in this area called Corman, Laces and Rivestenstein's textbook, which is the textbook I learned from when I was a student 20 years ago, but it's it's really good textbook and it's the textbook where everyone tends to learn from. So that's the textbook for this class. Uh, and then we have programming assignments each week and the programming assignments are really an intensive deep dive into some aspect of what you learned that week where you're actually programming, you're developing the solution yourself and you're programming the solution uh, with some help. The assignment kind of builds up from scratch to building up something. Uh, and then each of these classes, if you are registered for the credit version, you will have to take a, a, a take home final exam. Uh, and this one is just, uh, you get 24 hours and we give you four problems uh, based on everything you've solved. It's of the same type as a programming assignment. And you get to develop solutions for these problems and implement those solutions and test them against the test cases we provide. So. Uh, and you get about 24 hours uh, in total to solve it. It typically would take you three or four hours, but you, you can do it over the 24 hour period uh, as a take home final exam. And that's the entirety of the class. So, so three courses, um, they kind of ramp up in difficulty. The first course is the easiest. The second course is slightly harder. 
that the third course really gets you at the level uh, with, at which we want our undergraduate students or our beginning graduate students to be at when they enter our master's program. So it's truly something where you get to be at the same level as a beginning master's student in computer science. And uh, a lot of programming interviews in, in the industry uh, will stress this knowledge. So this is, a, this is an important class from our perspective, something that we feel all computer scientists and data scientists should know. So thank you.